Welcome to Landrianka on YouTube, here to help you break through those fears and live an awesome life. All right, I did a video on somebody who was just under, didn't know why they're not feeling excited about anything, and they meditate, and they're doing all the right things, making the effort, planning, trying to get excited about things, connect to those emotions. Fear not, my friends. If you're not connecting the emotions, it's because the real material, supposed real world, material world, isn't doing it for you anymore. Yay! You disconnected from your ego that expects that to make you happy. And so now you're going to start to separate from that, and then you're going to be more comfortable with not feeling joyous because you're going to understand that you don't need it anymore. You don't need all the planning and the stuff, and that's why you're not feeling excited about it. So that ego, and you're going to understand that it's going to fall off, and you're going to go, okay, I'm still expecting to feel excited about this stuff, and I'm not. And then you're going to shift into this other way of thinking that, oh, wait a second, we don't, work, we don't function like that anymore. I'm not feeling all that stuff, and that's okay. Yay! But we've been programmed to think we're supposed to get all excited about planning the future and all that stuff. So when you just drop it, you don't have to think that way anymore. And, and it, when you're in this neutral space that, yeah, you just really don't care whether you go on vacation or not. Yay. Be okay with feeling that too. But here's what I want to talk to you today about, and that's disconnecting from the ego. Now, I tell you, fight nothing. It's hanging around, but it's really starting to take a different position now, and so is fear. It's sort of, you know, in the background here. It's not, and it's like showing up, you're like, yeah, okay, I've seen you like a thousand times. Well, a lot, um, more than a thousand. Um, I'm so tired of you, ego and fear, because they're really good friends, by the way. And so, guess what? Whenever you're worried about this or you have any issues at all, those of you who are really connected to, I'm not, I'm so upset, Landria, this person I love and pray for me because of this and that. And like, you're still coming from such a dense ego state that you're so controlled by the outside world and what you think should be and what you uh, believe is good or bad. So you think these things that are upsetting you are bad instead of saying, wow, I got the death card. Remember I told you about the death card? You probably didn't, maybe you haven't seen that video. The death, death card isn't the end of something incredible. The death card, it, it represents change. There's no such thing as death. It's really the death, so to speak of something that's not serving you and a transition. So a lot of people think, oh my God, that's bad and painful because they're still hanging on to the other stuff that's really not serving you. And when you let it go, some people have lost jobs and homes and stuff like that. Guess what? Some awesome stuff's in store for you and that abundance is going to flow to you in huge ways. But not if you're looking at this like, this is bad. Why did God hurt me or whatever? You're so intensely connected to the ego. You're a victim. The ego needs these things to be happy. So you're still coming from this total ego viewpoint of the world. So if you're feeling that pain, that's your ego telling you some story about what's going on that makes it bad, that doesn't see the value in it. So how do we release that? How do we get out of that? So I tell you just to sit with it, right? But I'm going to give you another step. This hopefully will help you. And I talked in other videos about how I'm actually feeling like I'm functioning out there more than I am in here. I actually have conversations with light beings about what I'm going to do in this body. I physically see it during meditation, have seen it, and sometimes in theta state, where I'm actually having conversations on the other side about what I'm doing here. We are functioning out there at all times because we are everything. 
which means your energy is out there, which means every light being or everything that you're trying to get a sign, talk to me, or whatever, you're so dense in here, it's in the room screaming and you can't hear it. But when you push your energy out and you're out there with them, you can have full blown conversations with them. It's like children see angels and grandpa who's been dead for 20 years and ghosts and stuff that they're still in the physical body, but they're so connected to that other side because they haven't been told or believe anything different that they can't do that or that it's weird or they should be afraid or to stop it. They're, they are open. And of course, they're, they're physically uh, functioning on a higher frequency. So they're able to connect to that. And they don't know that that's not what everybody does, right? You can do it now. And don't be afraid of that. I'm not talking about going out there with ghosts and ah, evil stuff. That's If you're on a lower frequency and you're fearful and you're staying in the ego, yeah, you'll connect to that stuff. But if you, when you're not afraid and you go out into this, you're not connecting to any of that. It has, it's not even in your scope. It's never going to show up. It can't. It can't. It's not on your frequency. It's going to go... It's going to go hit the person that's a major ego that's living in fear. Uh, that's sad and blaming God and all this stuff. That's what they're going to hit. They're going, oh, this dense target, man. There's one. We can see it. But when you are a light, open being, you're not even visible to the lower frequencies. I'll give you an example. I shared with you before that my, I had not seen my mother was not showing up for, gosh, about three years. My mother never showed up. And my dad was not only showing up when he died. By the way, they both, they're both dead. My dad was showing up the day after he died in the house by doing stuff with lights and actually responding to questions with other people in the room with me, by the way. We all witnessed this just constantly letting us know he was there, including I actually heard his voice on my cell phone. I know. I'm, I'm writing a book. I'm going to share all this with you. It's, it's pretty out there. But I'm ready to tell everybody this stuff. Um, because I know you've all had experiences too that you're afraid to tell anybody about, right? Veils are down, people. T -t -t tell it. Tell it. I don't care if somebody looks at you like they're, you're crazy. That's because they're in a dense state and they can't even possibly imagine what we have access to. So my mother and my dad finally, recently, showed up in a dream together. They were actually in the same room and I was talking to my dad and my mother said, who are you talking to? And I said, dad, he's standing right here. She says, there's nobody there. And I realized... It was so crystal clear that when we're on different frequencies, we actually can't even see that other frequency. It's, not, it's non-existent to us. We're not in that room. Right? Does this make sense? So when you're open up into that frequency, you have access to what is on it. So if you're, if you're vibrating down here, you're going to access the dark side and the whatever. You have nothing to ever be afraid of, ever. You could walk into the worst, horrible, dense situation and be 100% okay. Nothing has power over you. Nothing can do anything to harm you. Okay? I want you to know that. And when you are up against a situation or anything else that's fearful, I want you to hit it head on and let it know it has no power over you. I know that's a tough thing to do because we think that these, the, you know, the, the bad things have power over this. They don't. They don't. And that's how we can eliminate it. It will dissipate. It will have no existence on this planet with anybody who's going up in that frequency who doesn't even acknowledge it. That's why people say, I have my head in the sand, you know, Miss Happy. <laughs> Thank you, by the way. You know, and everything's wonderful because that reality of mine, there is no room for the other stuff. And it's real. It's real for me. And whatever you're choosing in the low frequencies is real for you. So yeah, if you want to 
look around at the dark side, that's your reality, you're choosing it. I am equally as powerful, and if I choose to not see the darkness and to continue to focus on my higher frequency, that's where I'm gonna go, and I will not see you anymore, and that's what the transition of the earth is. You will actually not see each other anymore. You'll be in the same room and not see each other. You're gonna be living this beautiful, happy, awesome, abundant, joyful, peaceful life where this earth is gorgeous and respected and loved and the frequency is going to just blow your mind and those other people will be on the other earth on the lower frequencies with the wars and and yeah conspiracy theories and what's what's the president tweeting and he shouldn't do that and she shouldn't do that and in the reality series that are negative and all that stuff they'll live there and that's their choice it's okay it's fine. Let's not, we're not here to criticize or judge that. It's their experience they choose. You get to choose. So let's talk about that frequency. If you can let go of all fear and know that you are all powerful, I mean really powerful, really powerful. Why? You're of the one. You have to believe it. The ones on the lower frequency don't. They hate themselves. They hate what they've done. They hate others because they're so dense. When you know that you are all perfect and there's nothing you've ever done that isn't part of a learning experience, no matter how horrible, forgive yourself, okay? Because there's no judgment on the other side. It's just all experiences. So let's move on from that. We're going to push our frequency out and do it as often as you can. So when you get into a, a state where you feel like you're thinking, you're worrying, there's stuff, you're, you're too much in your body, you're dense, you're in this density here. When you are actually in everything, you're, you're in the money, you're in the joy, you're in the new beautiful relationship, you're in the new beautiful job, you're in that higher frequency, you're in all that stuff, but you're staying here, you're choosing to stay here even though you're still all those things. So here's what you do. When you get in that state, I want you to visibly, uh, let's say, um, yeah, let's envision it. I mean, visibly, hope you probably won't see it with your eyes. Maybe you will, maybe you'll see a difference, but let's envision this density just breaking apart, just breaking apart and relaxing. I feel your body relax and I want you to picture this light, this light in you and I want you to start pushing it out and I want you to think of yourself as the energy out here. So what's going to happen is while you're focusing on that and, and trying to connect to what you really are, what will happen is you're going to stop thinking that thing that you were freaking out about is not going to be your focus anymore. You're going to be focused on that energy that you're pushing out that is now connecting to everything out there. And don't be afraid because you're going to say, well, if I'm coming from a place of worry and fear that I'm going to connect to the bad stuff. Listen, you're already connecting to the bad stuff. Only you're already doing it on a dense level. Let's push it out because when you connect to everything, now you're going into all probabilities, which is the higher realms. And then you call in your protection, say, okay, I'm going to surround myself with white light. I have full protection. No negative energy is allowed in this space, near me, near anything around me, my home, anywhere. It must leave now. Order, free will, you just called it out. It cannot harm you. And you call it out until you know it is gone because you have that power. Nothing can interfere with free will. It can give you all kinds of situations, circumstances, but only you allow it to take you down, be upset, believe the bad stuff, uh, make bad choices, that, things that aren't good for you, nothing good or bad, but things that don't feel so good. Push your energy out, because the more you do that, the less you become a dense being. And you push it out, and push it out, and push it out. And it may be a little uncomfortable, especially if you're going through stuff. Push it out. Connect. 
push it out to the cosmos, push it out to the sun, push it out to the planets and the galaxy and envision that beautiful Milky Way galaxy spinning and pushing it out beyond that. Envision that light going out and out and out and sparkling, sparkling, beautiful light going out and out and out because that is what you are. And the more you do that, the more you will disconnect from the density of this and stop thinking about the crap that you're making up in your head that you're actually creating because you're a huge manifester all, at all times and start to know that all probabilities of everything you could ever be is out there in everything that you can't see right now because you're not connecting to it, right? It's all in the room. What are you going to see? Are you going to see this dark room or do you see a beautiful place with light and trees and whatever? And you start to see things. You actually start to see it. It becomes very intense, by the way. And then, you know, you raise your frequency because you start to see like every particle. It gets very intense sometimes. Every particle, because you're actually, your senses become huge. You expand your senses. Colors become brighter. Now, if you don't experience it, this okay, that's fine. You keep doing it, you're going to start to notice things. You know, this beautiful little bird just landed here. Little cardinals, things. You'll actually start to notice things, because you're not in here. Me, 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 me. Oh. Give it up. I don't have to pray for you. You've got all the power of the universe in you. Stop being a victim. Push that power out. Connect to what you are. You are everything. So do this. Push it out. The light, the love, the abundance. Connect to it. Don't expect anything. It's not going to give you anything. You have everything. And be all of that and be at peace with that and do that over and over and over again. And pretty soon the intensity of anything negative starts to dissipate. And the expansion that you're feeling starts to become huge and powerful and beautiful. And all of a sudden you'll start to see stuff manifest. Woo wee! When you push that energy out, you're connecting to that thing, that person, that thought, that idea, that opportunity. That health, that one thing you needed to do, my health is really taking a huge change. Huge change. And, and I have been a super healthy person, but there was some weird stuff going on. I had no illness or anything, but just some weird stuff. And now it's, and I don't have to take vitamins or anything. There's a lot of shifts going on. Be as healthy as you can in every way you can. Push that energy out and you'll actually start to feel it. You'll actually be able to feel energy going off your hands and your body. You'll feel it out there. You're going to feel like it's in the room. So what will happen is you'll be much more sensitive like when somebody walks in the room or that. That's okay. Don't be afraid of it. Your focus is everything. Your focus is everything. So I hope this is helpful. Try it. Do it every chance you get. Actually, when you're sitting there, if anything happens, focus on the power and the energy outside of you. Not, it's not separate from you. Just imagine it and feel. You'll actually feel vibrations. You'll actually feel almost waves of energy. Play with this. It's fun. You'll feel waves of energy and you'll actually feel waves of energy off of other people will hit you. It'll, it'll feel like a wave. I know some of you have experienced this before. It's like, boom. I, had, I went to this um, meditation uh, ceremony of a bunch of monks, Buddhist monks, and they did this chant, and a wave of energy hit me so hard, and then like a few seconds later, a second one hit me. It was like, whoa, woo, seriously, it was like a huge wave that just boom, hit me and went through me, and then the second one came. They were, they were pushing off so much beautiful energy. It was awesome to be in that room. And I didn't go to a euphoric state or anything. Don't have expectations of anything. You are expanding. You are awakening. You're on this channel. And by the way, those of you who go, oh, manifest my, you know, manifest my stock or my lottery stuff, I know you're awakening too. 
You don't want to admit it. You're fighting. Go ahead, fight all you want. You're going to end up back up to the source with the rest of us. You're just going to go kicking and screaming for a while until you finally give up. Because you're here. I know why you're here. You want the manifesting. But the truth is, you know it's much deeper than that. You know it's not about this stuff. You know the manifesting has to do with much more. And that true manifesting, what you want, the true desire, comes from the joy of doing something beautiful and good and higher than just a car or a house. That's just all the beautiful stuff that comes along with resonating on a higher frequency. Can you feel it? I'll be interested to see if any of you are feeling that energy that's coming off of me right now. Because when I'm more I talk about it, it sort of like gains momentum. Like I talk to you guys a lot and it gets really huge, which may be me picking up on you when you watch it because there's no such thing as time, right? And you're feeling my energy now, even though when you're watching this, I'm off doing something completely different. This energy still is real for when you watch it, it's real. There's no such thing as time. So try it and do it all day. It'll blow your mind. Sometimes it'll blow your mind because people will actually pick up on it. Somebody may actually turn around and look at you. You're going you're gonna to experience some really cool stuff with this. And just envision that power. You can actually send somebody that's maybe a little bit negative, send off a positive vibe, almost like a shield around you. Not because you're afraid of them. No fear. No fear. Again, and then just, just send them light and love. And they may stop being such a you know, sourpuss and they may actually smile. They don't know why. Oh, this is like awesome stuff. You guys, I'm telling you, God, you don't even know. Do you? Do you know what you are? Do you know how powerful you are? Oh my gosh, start using it. It's huge. You have it now. It's not something you get to have to be trained to do for years. You have to just connect to it. And that means let all of it, everything go. What you think, how things are, what you, who, who you think, uh, you know, uh, uh, landed first in the United States. All that stuff is, no, we don't have those answers. Did aliens come here? Are we aliens? Are they here now? We don't know. <laughs> we don't have any answers. Well, we know the aliens are here, but you know what I'm saying? You don't have to have answers to anything. Just let it all go. <laughs> Open your mind, open your vibration, open your frequency and connect and watch the stuff show up. By the way, double check your lottery tickets. <laughs> okay, I know, I know, I, and I don't, you know I don't adhere to this, but you know I did buy lottery tickets after we talked about the lottery, and all, I won every single, all of my tickets were winners. <laughs> Well, I just checked a couple that I had bought that weren't winners that I had to sit around and I found out they were winners. I'm just saying, reality shifting. And that applies to everything in your life. The things that are showing up now that we're missing. The opportunity that somebody says that you didn't get and then somebody calls and says, you know that person we picked? They didn't work out. We want you. This discount nothing. Discount nothing. Miracles? I told you we're not going to call them miracles anymore. It's just your power that you could do every day. They're not miracles anymore. Miracles are these supernatural things that happen at rare moments. We're going to do it every day because you're whole and perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. Woo! Ramp it up. Send out those awesome vibes. And then you'll start to feel joyful. Right? You're going to feel it. It's powerful. Namaste.